So part two of working with uh, with modular content. Um, this is more irregular content, and what just to just to define what I mean with irregular content um, is content that I that, that that normally just doesn't conform to squares or rectangles or something that you can easily snap to. Um, doesn't have really well defined corners, for example. Um, as you can see here, some of these corners are quite soft, so it makes makes it difficult to work with um, the typical tile workflow that I follow for what I call regular content. Um, so it does need a little bit of a different approach. Um, and I'm going to talk you through what I've what I've done here in the setup. So for something that creates this kind of visual, um, I did take a bit of a bit of a cheat workflow here so this wouldn't wouldn't really necessarily hold up in the in the vfx film industry on big screen um as i took a bit of a bit of a game approach on it but uh how i navigated this is i created a a, a sheet like this in photoshop it's a it's a trim sheet actually it's what it is it's not a texture atlas and uh, there's an amazing amount of confusion between trim sheets and texture atlas atlases um so I, so i made this trim sheet and then broke it up into different parts and that was literally done like this um, when i had the trim sheet i can copy these elements out um, and then start tweaking these individual elements and all i did for elements like this is literally um so now obviously i'd need to separate that by loose parts and then come in here um, and give it the necessary segments and then use something like um you can obviously checker deselect um and then um set your um let's call it waves or corrugation same for these guys you would just come in here put in some um like little segments just to give you handles and control i'm just going like quite dirty and nasty about it here but just showing you how i made this so then you've got um plates and loose content as a as a bundle of assets almost rather than tiles so you almost need to conform this into a tile something that you can work with in a way that makes kind of dimensional sense and you can snap to to two buildings um in a way that that you can build assets like this which is why i made um content like that and like this so now <clears throat> when i've got corners like this then i can um, it starts getting easier. I can start snapping and um, and just rotating, and that gives me something to work with. Uh, that's a little bit easier than trying to um, trying to build something like that from a sheet of of uh, loose parts. So the way that I go about that is. Like I use quite a strong, um, <laughs> it's, well, it's a it's a box really is what it is, but it does give me a good um, base to go and place these um, loose sheets around. Yeah. And what I do with these is I'll put a base down like that and make sure that it's not visible to camera. So in default, all of these are on, but I never want this to be able to render so if i go in here you'll see at the back i placed all of this and snapped them um, to that but if i go into rendered mode that's not visible which is really great that i don't want that visible also it's low poly it has just one face here and one face there and if you're gonna um tile that with your items and you really do uh you don't want to spend that on on poly again my aim is always vfx not gaming so i'm not as concerned about polygons as the game industry but it is it also it, it, it's just good to not overdo it anyway it's not a license to to just go wild so with that in mind i can take sheets like that and just build them around what I have um, and then obviously I can do something like activate proportional editing when I bring that in 
um, the other end in. So if I then snap it to that end, I can make sure I use proportional editing to obviously um, just make sure I've got it spaced out correctly. And then I'll take the top and just well, switch off proportional editing and snap it to the other face and start working my way around um, and build myself a tile from something that actually doesn't really want a tile um, workflow. Um, so if I can just scale that in. And then obviously you can do something like this where you just soften the corner or cover the corner um, and that just hides your um, caps if you if you have an issue uh, where you see your tile coming through um, again just scale up to cover that corner and then it's a case of attaching all of all of your kit to the main part and the main part has its pivot point set there so it gives you a very easy way to work with the pivot point that's um and your pivot point conforms to the dimensions of your base block base cube so it does make it predictable and easy to work with from a dimensioning point of view if i know what the dimension is on this guy 2250 then it very easy um it it, it becomes quite easy to just uh work with something that is quite predictable dimensionally obviously i would build in more variation like this i'm just showing you how i follow a slightly different um, route for content that is a little bit more loose um, than your normal tile like i used on the soviet pack as well as the um the hong kong pack for for the city builder add-on stay tuned for the next video it should auto play also if you like this hit the like and subscribe button